Hey guys, it's Chris and I am back today with a new video. Uh, for those of you that have never been here, my name is Chris and I do uh, makeup tutorials, reviews, and all that jazz. For those of you that have been here already, what's up guys? Um, also, please, don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I really love to meet new people. So if you like what you see, hit subscribe. Anyways. So, I'm sorry guys, my eyes just keeps uh, watering. But today I am back with a new video and I decided today to do a more uh, natural looking uh, makeup. Um, just because uh, sometimes you want to do your makeup but you don't really want to be all done up and dolled up. This is a pretty simple look. It is uh, just a one eyeshadow uh, look and a simple lip and simple face is, is pretty easy. Um, this look can be uh, used with other lip colors if you don't like this uh, nude color. Um, you can pretty much use any color that you like since everything else is so simple and if you would like to have the, uh, the attention on your lips just use any lip color or just leave it like it is you could use a gloss you could use nothing it is totally up to you uh, yeah so if you guys would like to see how I got this done then please keep on watching okay guys so we are starting with the video and here I have my Mac pink pot painterly and I am going to be using this all over my lid just to prime my eyes now the reason why you want to use a primer is so that your shadow does not crease and it stays put all day and also the vibrancy comes through on the shadow here I am finally blending it with my finger and then we are gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder I am just setting that cream that we just put so it doesn't crease then after this we are going in with the only shadow that we're using in this tutorial and it is the soft brown mac eyeshadow and i am using this on a fluffy brush i am putting this all over my crease a little bit above the crease and a little bit below the crease i want this color to be fully fully blended no harsh lines i just want it to be nicely blended uh all over the crease and like I said above and below it after this uh, we're done with the eyeshadow so I am taking my voluminous primer to prime my lashes I you guys must know that I really love this thing because I can't stop using it then after this we are gonna go in with the Dr. Brandt's pour no more uh, facial primer just to uh, slow down not slow down but change the look of my pores then here i'm taking the nars copacabana illuminator and i am putting this all over my face because i want a little bit of a glow from within look for today then after this i am using my nyx uh, dark circle corrector just to cover my under eye area because i do have uh, some dark circles there that I really don't like then I'm taking my beauty blender and I am blending this out uh, yeah then I look in the mirror and I see that I have a little bit more darkness so I just put a little bit more corrector right on top of that and blend it out with the beauty blender then after this we are gonna go in with my uh, BB my Garnier BB creams in light medium and medium deep I just mix both of them and then I put them all over uh, my face and I use a damp uh, beauty blender to blend this out. I also use the uh, NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting uh, Facial Spray, Setting Spray, just to blend all of this out because I want it to look a little dewy today. Not so matte, but then I end up doing it anyway. Uh, so here I am just blending it out and yeah just ooh, I used I put it over my lips and then I thought that I looked dead and I didn't really like that so just keep blending it all over your neck and make sure that you have a flawless uh, blending technique with the beauty blender after this we are going in with the Maybelline fit me concealer 
in the color sand which is the light, not the lightest but the second to lightest and I am using this to just uh, highlight right below uh, my eyes and I am using the same beauty blender to blend this out then after this uh, I didn't show this on camera but I used my RCMA no color powder to set my under eye concealer and then I went in with the L'Oreal True Match powder in N4 just to set my whole face uh, because I do get oily so I just did like a light uh, coating of that powder all over my face then after this we are gonna go in with the NYC Sunny Bronzer just so that I could bronze my skin up a little bit and bring some color and dimension to my face then to contour I am using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I am just using that right at the beginning of the hollow of my cheek then after this I am taking my Tarte Captivating uh, 24 Amazonian Clay Powder uh, just to use this all over the cheeks I think I wanted a little bit too much so I took the same brush just to blend out uh, that blush and then I went in with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter just to highlight the highest points of my cheeks and also my cupid's bow and right at the tip of my nose. Then after this I went in with my L'Oreal Feline Mascara. Once the primer had dried uh, on my lashes I just went in with the mascara right on top of that. And this look is you really don't need any liner or any lashes it was just a pretty simple natural uh, look and yeah then here I just did my eyebrows if you guys want an eyebrow tutorial please let me know in the comment section down below and then for the bottom lashes I just used the soft brown that I had right on top on my crease I just used the same color right below it because I thought it was a little bit too empty without nothing on it so I just add a little bit of color with that soft brown here I'm taking a little bit more soft brown and just blending that into the crease just to intensify that a little bit because I thought that the color had lost a little bit of vibrancy then here I am taking my Becca Opal uh, highlighter just to highlight the corner the inner corners of my eyes just to bring more brightness into them and also right under my brow just to highlight highlight that part a little bit more after this I go into my bottom lashes and I am using a sample mascara that I got and I don't remember where I got this for this is my Hypnos uh, drama from Lancome I don't know if I really like this it was a little bit too wet for me but I'll keep trying and I'll tell you guys how I feel about it then for my lips I use my ColourPop uh, collaboration with Beautycon lipstick in the color Beautycon and it's just a simple nude uh, color to use on my lips okay guys so that is it for the video today I hope that you guys really enjoyed what I did here like I said it is a really really simple look uh, if you are in a rush or you're a person that doesn't really like to wear a lot of makeup this will be perfect for you um, you could like you can use different lip colors you could use no lip color it's totally up to you uh, yeah so I really enjoyed this video guys if you guys have any more suggestions any comments any questions please leave all of that in the comment section down below until next time guys bye mm -hmm.